So once you get a trailer, there are then a ton of different accessories that you'll want to get. I have a separate video where I went over all of our favorite interior accessories, and in this video I'll cover all of our favorite exterior accessories. And just like that first video, the links to all these items will be in the video description, so if you're interested in seeing what the exact item is that I'm referring to, just click the video description and you can see the link there. The first is the LevelMate Pro. This is a device that we installed in the pass-through of our trailer, and how it works is you just turn it on and then you can connect it to your phone via Bluetooth, and it shows if the trailer is level side to side and also front to back. And so you can look at your app and you can level it out and then you'll see when it is level. The next are the Anderson levelers. So we really like these Anderson levelers. Combined with the LevelMate Pro, it takes seconds to level out the rig. The only problem that we found with the Anderson levelers is sometimes if we were off level by several inches, like over three inches, then these levelers were pretty difficult to use because we had to get right on the end to get the maximum height out of them. So what we did was we also got the Anderson Rapid Jack, and the Rapid Jack has an additional two inches, and so that has worked out really well. If we only need to level out a little bit, we use the standard leveler, and then if it's off by several inches, then we use the Rapid Jack. And basically, we just reverse onto these things until the LevelMate Pro says that it's level left to right, and then we put on our chocks. The next favorite exterior item is the Blackstone and all of the accessories. So we love using the Blackstone way more than we had expected. We use it for just about every single meal. We use it as often as we can. And some of the accessories that we really like with it is first we got a set that came with two spatulas, a scraper tool, and then two squirt bottles. And that's been really convenient. We always have one squirt bottle of water that we use for cleaning and then one squirt bottle of oil that we use both for cooking and re-seasoning the grill. We also have a rack that helps us get the food off of the Blackstone a little bit just so it doesn't have that direct heat. And then we have a basting dome that works out really well with that rack. And we use that with and without the rack. We love having that basting dome to melt cheese and to steam veggies. And the last accessory that we really like for this grill is this expandable rack that we can open up to get the full width of the Blackstone. We could stick it right at the back and we can use it to either get some more surface area, we can put stuff on top of there while still cooking underneath there, um, or we can also use it to keep an item warm while we're cooking the rest of the meal. And it folds up flat so it's really easy to store. The next item that we like is our tongue lock. This is the fourth tongue lock that we've purchased for the trailer, but the first one that fit. So we are very happy with it and it fits perfectly. For both of our vents, we got the Max Air vent covers. So the vent that's over the front living area, it's designed to have one of these. It already has the brackets there and it just clipped right in place. It was super easy. We decided to also put one over our bathroom vent. And that one did take a little bit more work because there weren't already clips there for it, but it was still a pretty simple process. And those vent covers allow us to have our fans on, the vents open, while we're driving or while it's raining, anytime, it doesn't matter. So it just gives us a lot more flexibility with our vents. Now, this is a small thing, but super useful. We really like these bungees that we got for our tablecloth. So we like to go to a lot of state parks and the picnic tables are often way too thick to work with the standard little metal clips. And so these bungees just make it super easy to put the tablecloth on any picnic table, no matter what size it is. Another item that we love outside our trailer is our Kelty Love Seat. 
Now, we actually ended up getting two of these because we got one thinking that it would be good for the adults and the kids sat in it so much that we just had to get a second one because the only other chairs were the little tiny kid chairs. So this works out really, really well. It is super easy to open up. Setup takes like a second and it's really comfortable. It's low to the ground, so it doesn't put that pressure on the back of your thigh like a higher chair would. And it's really stable. So if the kids jump on there, it doesn't tip over and they don't fall out of it. And it can easily support an adult and both the kids so everybody could cuddle. We really like them. They're super comfortable and just a nice way to relax around the campfire. The next item is our outdoor rug. So we actually have two of these. The one that we use more often is the larger size, which is nine by 12 feet. And it works out really well underneath the awning. Before this, we had a different carpet that we put out there and it just soaked up water. So when it was time to pack up, it was extremely heavy and really difficult to deal with. These carpets are extremely lightweight and it doesn't matter if they get wet they are super easy to sweep off they dry really quick it's never been a problem to pack up even when things are a little bit moist they're really lightweight and they work out really well we love them ever since we got these carpets it seems like there is a lot less dirt in the trailer because they really just help keep all the dirt and dust down Another item we love is this popcorn extender. Now this was a random gift, one of those things that didn't seem like you need it until you have it. Making Jiffy Pop with their regular handle is just almost impossible to do over a campfire. It's fine over the stove, but when you're over the campfire, it's just way too short. So this just extends the handle and it makes it really easy to make a Jiffy Pop right on the campfire. And we have had some delicious tasting Jiffy Pop now that we use this handle extender. The next is just kind of a fun item. We like our custom tire cover. Our son, who was six at the time we got the trailer, decided that we should name our tow vehicle Vader and our trailer Trooper. So we really went with that theme and got this custom tire cover and it's just a fun addition to the trailer. Another really useful item is our solar on the side panel. Now we did recently do a solar upgrade on our trailer with lithium batteries and an inverter. And I will link to that video in the description if you're interested in seeing that. But before we did that upgrade, this side panel was essential. Now it doesn't seem as important, but still worth mentioning. With our original solar setup, it was very difficult to get our batteries back to 100% without using this. We really relied on it. It was very easy to use. It's lightweight. Everything you need came with it. And even now, we always carry it with us just in case we need a little bit extra solar power. And another one of our favorite outside items for the trailer is our propane fire pit. Now we originally got this fire pit because we were camping at a location that had a burn ban. So we couldn't have a wood campfire, but we were allowed to have propane. So we went out and got this. And it turns out that it's just one of our favorite items because it gives us so much flexibility. It lets us kind of recenter our camp. If we camp in a small spot and we end up putting our trailer too close to the fire pit that's in the site, now we still have a fire pit that we can use somewhere else. Also, if it's raining, this fire pit can go underneath the awning because it doesn't have any smoke and underneath it doesn't get hot. So it's even okay to sit on our carpet. So in the rain, we can still set up fire underneath the awning and sit there and watch the rain come down. So it's just a really nice way to be able to have a campfire wherever and to have a short campfire that you just put on for while you're having breakfast and then you don't have to wait for it to go out. You just turn it off and you're good to go. And then lastly, we have the Radiate Portable Campfire. Now this is basically a large candle and we haven't actually used ours yet, 
but we really like having this item in the trailer. We carry it with us just in case. It's super lightweight. I think it's about three pounds. And so it doesn't hurt just to have it in the trailer. And since it's just a candle, you can use it during a burn ban, but really we just have it around for emergencies. If we need a fire and we don't have wood and we don't have our propane pit, we can light this and it creates a, a two foot fire and you can have it on for just as long as you want it. When you're done and want to extinguish it, it's just in a tin. And so you could just take the metal lid, put it over it, and it cuts the air to it so the fire goes out. And then when the tin cools down, you can seal it up completely, put it away to use next time. So it's just a really cool small item that's nice to just keep on hand. I hope that was helpful and gave you some fun ideas of things you might be able to add to your trailer setup. If you like this, please subscribe. We'll be doing another video soon with some of our organizational hacks.